Satida, a planet in the Pegasus galaxy which was left utterly decimated by a wraith assault. Satida is the homeworld of Ronan Dex, who for years was hunted for sport by the wraith as a runner. Ronan and a handful of other survivors keep the Satidan civilization alive, now scattered throughout the galaxy without a home to call their own. Over many centuries, the peoples of the Pegasus Galaxy reached different levels of cultural and technological advancement, with the threat of the next wraith culling always looming. And they responded to the wraith in different ways, some offering sacrifices to try and appease the creatures, while others fought back. The people of Satida were proud, guided by a common sense of honor. Defiant, they fought back against their oppressors. In what may have been a protracted conflict, the Satidans fought the enemy in the streets of their cities, with squads of soldiers fighting the wraith in close quarters combat. A young Ronin Dex was among them, fighting valiantly in the city streets against the unstoppable onslaught of a more advanced foe. Ronin was ultimately culled by the wraith, along with countless others, and rather than being allowed to rebuild for future cullings, the great cities of Satida were laid waste as punishment for their resistance. The Satidan civilization was no more. Beyond this tragic history, we know little about the once great Satidan people. Their level of technology was somewhat noteworthy for the Pegasus Galaxy, including large cities and a military armed with chemical-propelled weapons, perhaps roughly approximate to early 20th century Earth. The common design aesthetic on Satida is industrial, which can be seen in the architecture, civilian clothing, and in the military uniforms worn by soldiers. Like many worlds, the Satidans appear to have used their Stargate to visit other planets for purposes of trade. For a long time after the fall of Satida, Ronan was alone, and believed that he was the only survivor of his people. Shortly after joining the Atlantis team, however, he discovered that others from his world are alive. On the planet Belkin, he found Solon Sinsha, who served with him in the same regiment in the Satidan military. Solon told him of more than 300 civilians still living, who had each gone their own way to relocate on various worlds. Also on Belkin, Ronan found Kel, his former military commander, who ordered thousands of loyal soldiers to their deaths in order to save himself. When they came face to face, Ronan summarily executed him. After some years on the run, Ronan was recaptured by the Wraith, who took him home to the ruined capital city of Satida to hunt him once again. Ronan was forced to relive the memories of his deep trauma, fighting in the city streets, the loss of his mate, and the destruction of his home, while Wraith hunters prowled the ruins looking for him. But Ronan held his own, using his homeworld advantage to eliminate the hunters until his team could find him and rescue him. Other friends of Ronan's also survived the destruction of their world. Ronan was overjoyed to be reunited with Tyre, Ara, and Rakai, who had survived the Wraith's final attack on their world because they were off-world at the time, attacking a known Wraith stronghold. But Ronan came to learn that his friends had survived only because they capitulated to Wraith torture. They had been turned, now worshipping the Wraith, and Ronan was forced to fight and kill two of his friends yet another injury inflicted by the Wraith upon the Satidan people. For more people, places, and things from the Stargate universe, visit StargateOmnipedia.com. If you want to support GateWorld on YouTube, like this video and leave a comment. Check out this playlist for more videos from the Stargate Omnipedia.